Hello, I'm here with Dr. Melham Sol, an expert in diffused large B-cell lymphoma, or DLBCL. In this video, we'll discuss some challenges and unmet needs in the treatment of relapsed or refractory DLBCL and the role of Zenlanta in this therapeutic area. Why don't you start by giving our viewers an overview of relapsed or refractory DLBCL? I'd be happy to. Uh, diffused large B-cell lymphoma is the most common subtype of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. It represents just about a third of non-Hodgkin lymphoma cases. Diffused large B-cell lymphoma is clinically aggressive and treatment can be challenging. That's because at least 40% of patients, they will fail their first line treatment or they relapse after remission. Now, following that failure or relapse after the first line therapy, second line treatment options may be considered. For example, stem cell transplant or SCT is a curative option, but about half of the patients are ineligible because of either advanced age, comorbidities, social and access issues, or individual choice. Among patients who are eligible for transplant, less than 15% actually receive it, and half of those patients ultimately will relapse. Wow, that's a disheartening statistic. What about third-line treatment? Third-line treatment is very individualized, and it's based on various patient and disease-related factors. For example, if we take CAR T-cell therapy, it's a potentially curative option, but there are many obstacles to its success and access. Uh, the response remain uh, also uh, not very high because a, in a real-world experience, only 16.5% of patients receive CAR T-cell therapy in a third-line setting. Uh, also, other studies have shown that up to half of the patients who do receive it may ultimately relapse. Ostensibly, an unmet and clinical need remains for patients who are ineligible for or who relapse after stem cell transplant or CAR T-cell therapy. It certainly seems that way. Well, on a positive note, there are many treatment options that continually evolving and help to address this need. Well, that's a perfect segue to Zenlanta. Why don't you explain what it is and specifically what is it indicated for? Sure. Zenlanta is an antibody drug conjugate for relapsed or refractory diffused large B-cell lymphoma. Zenlanta is indicated for the treatment of adult patients who relapsed or are refractory with large B-cell lymphoma after two or more lines of systemic therapy. And that includes diffuse large B-cell lymphoma not otherwise specified, diffuse large B-cell lymphoma arising from a low-grade lymphoma, and high-grade B-cell lymphomas. And knowing that different approaches to treating relapsed or refractory DLBCL are needed, can you tell us how Zenlanta works? Of course. So Zenlanta is the first and only CD19-directed antibody drug conjugate, or what we refer as ADC. It is approved for diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. Now, we know that CD19 is a very important target, but not all CD19 targeted therapies, they work in the same way. Let me explain how Zenlanta works. It is composed of a humanized monoclonal antibody that binds to the CD19 receptors on the tumor cells. When Zenlanta binds to the CD19, it is internalized into the tumor cell, and unlike other CD19 targeted treatments, there is a unique cytotoxic PPD dimer payload that gets released inside the cell. Now, this PPD, which is an alkylating agent, it binds to the DNA minor groove and forms a cytotoxic DNA interstrand crosslinks. This subsequently induces tumor cell death. Dr. Sol, thanks so much for sharing your time and expertise in this area. We hope you found this discussion informative. To see more of our discussion, please watch the other videos available in this series. For additional information, you can visit ZenlantaHCP.com or contact your ADC Therapeutic Sales Representative. Now, please take a moment to view the important safety information for Zenlanta.